address some things um, I couldn't talk about earlier because the kids and uh, Bryce was on my nerves about doing his hair. So, um, some things I wanted to talk about. I let some more people come on here because. I'm just concerned about our adults nowadays. Can you guys hear me? You guys can hear me okay, right? It's not like staticky. Maybe I can turn my music off or something. Yeah, I haven't had lashes on. Like, I feel so naked without my lashes. like to address is why are my windshield wipers on? It's the first thing. Okay, second thing I would like to address, I guess. Um, so those of you that know um, that Bryce and I are um, back on good terms. Um, please don't tell me I'm about to run into traffic. Oh, I hate it. Um, Bryce and I are back on good terms. So this morning, um, he woke up to tons of text messages and, um, um, tons of text messages and phone calls, um, from his other baby mamas and I guess his mother. Uh, I'm not sure. He said that his baby mother said, one of his baby mama said they were going to send his mom a message saying that he's with me. Um, <clears throat> and they were telling him that he couldn't see his child. Well, Marina was telling him he couldn't see his child because he's with me. Um, and then Ashley was just very mad that he was with me. But my thing is, Bryce is 30 years old. Okay. And at the end of the day, we have a child. Why the hell is it a problem what he does? Okay. Him and I are not in a relationship. He knows, you know what I'm saying, that he has to prove himself as being a father before any relationship thing comes about. Um, and I don't understand. First of all, I don't know who told his baby mothers <laughs> that he was with me um that he's been with me all night and day like i don't know who the hell even told that fast because he woke up to all these messages and calls and shit he was like oh shit here we go you know what i'm saying like um, this semi is really in my way and um you know he i was on live earlier but he was like um bugging me about doing his hair you know and he just didn't want me to go live right then and there but he's at work right now so um yo this semi is really pissing me the fuck off so i figure you know i just talk about it right now before um he gets off work so um I mean, like, as grown adults, men and women, why is it that we cannot come together um, when we all have children by the same person? Why is it always have to be drama and you can't see your child because you're with this person, da 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 da, da. Like, girl, we grown. We are grown. And then why are you sending his mother a message talking about, why are you, why are you texting NeNe and sending NeNe messages? Oh, he's with her. Bryce is a grown-ass man, okay? Now, we already know I got my issues with Lanithia, okay? But at the end of the day, I still have a child with her son. And all three of them need to get over it. Get over it. Period. I have told everybody before. Matter of fact, I made 
I made a post yesterday in my caption told y'all I'm coming for what's owed owned to me, what's owed to me and what belongs to me and I meant everything that I said in that caption okay and the same day what happened Bryce is like I want to see you guys I want to see you guys I'm, I want to come over there I want to see you guys mm -hmm. and we had a long talk you know what I'm saying but I don't understand why his mother has to his mother and his baby mamas have to try to be in control over him as a grown ass man I told him as well I'm like you were grown you know you should not be letting anybody influence you he apologized to my son and to me you know um for what has been going on what transpired you know and he knows that all this media stuff was out of hurt because he's not taking care of his child he admitted to that asked him do you want a dna test he repeatedly told me no he was like if he wants a dna test he would do it he knows that blaze is his child so all this talk about a fucking dna test then bitch why haven't you got a dna test and whoop to boo bitch because he doesn't want one i told him it's already paid for signed for everything all he needs is to swab all he needs is to go get his motherfucking mouth swabs period so he don't want one and that's that i mean Everybody keep talking about a DNA test. I need to find the pappy of my, my, my child, and I know who he is. Thank you very much. Now, with that being said, let me speak on Michelle because I have not spoken on her. I'm sorry. It's dark, you guys. I am driving in Atlanta traffic. Um, well, now I'm a perimeter. I'm not, yeah. So, um, I don't know. Just... Um, hold on, you guys. Good, I was just sleeping. Um, me and mom and boys aren't home right now, but man, mom and Deja are home. spoken about Michelle um, Brown ATLian in a long time but she has resurfaced now that me and Andrew Caldwell um, are beefing and I think it's quite funny that he comes here to the city and goes to hang out with her okay that is quite funny to me um like and then go talk about me. I am so glad that I was a topic of discussion for you guys. But yeah, you guys hate me so much. I mean, you can't hate me that much. You feel me? And then, how were you just talking so bad about Michelle to me? Now you all up in her face on her YouTube channel and stuff. Uh, live and whatever. Coming? I'm not going to coming. Um live on her YouTube channel and stuff all up in her face. Stop it. Like, motherfuckers be talking about clout chasing and stuff. Like, y'all need to know the real definition of that shit because these motherfuckers is so thirsty. Andrew is like the thirstiest motherfucker in this world. Like, I'm trying to tell you, okay? Like, thirsty to the point... That's a good picture. Thirsty to the point where he done suck too much dick where his tongue is so goddamn dry. Okay? Like, thirsty and he gets on my nerves gets on my nerves how he is not sure i'm like i'm so tired of being nice to this clown okay and the fool the fuck the fool is like on the run he's so lucky i'm not the fucking police because i know where his hotel room is and all that shit motherfucker keep talking about he got a stalker and shit somebody's stalking him who the fuck want to stalk you Nobody gives a fuck about you. And Michelle, why are you sitting here taking up for him when people talking about he writing fraudulent checks and shit? But you been known he been doing that shit just like um, the leaks, okay? But they ain't got caught yet. The fuck? You been known he been doing that shit. And now you taking up for him 
when somebody called into your little show, your YouTube channel, and you was like, what does it matter how to, how he gets his, um, his designer and stuff? Like, what? Okay, but bitch, what are you just talking about? I'm on Section 8 and I'm broke and shit, living off, uh, motherfuckers and shit like that. You was just worried about how I get what I get, how I get my money and how I'm living, but now motherfuckers coming at Andrew and all of a sudden you... Yo, yo, um, your lips is turned up into the the shape of his asshole. Like, girl, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Then y'all talking about how Kenya, Kenya, uh, was is looking for some attention, uh, from Nene's name and using Nene's name for attention and shit. Y'all motherfuckers is like, y'all reaching so hard just to find a topic to talk about on your motherfucking channel. Like, for real. Um, oh, I didn't see these comments. Let me see. Him and Michelle was beefing. Shit, I mean, they really wasn't beefing, but I mean, Andrew just so fake and he's such a pancake. He be flopping all over the place. Like, he don't know left from right. That fool. Like, he was sitting here telling me how, how, um, Michelle Brown pussy stank and shit, and that she needs all the bath and body works that I got, and, um, mm, my God, I cannot get over it. I hate when people are on both sides of my bed. Um, you know what? Fuck it, I'm about to go around these bitches. Um, like. How you sit here and talk about her pussy, but then when you on her on her YouTube channel and motherfuckers is calling in talking so cat like all this cash money shit about you, you want to sit here. All you can sit here and say to people, yo, clapbacks to everybody. Boy, he needs me so bad for these clapbacks because his clapbacks is, bitch, you're broke. You're broke. I have on designer. I have on DR. My sweater is DR. Look at the tag. Look at the tag. Bitch, you're broke, okay? And I make money off you poor people. That's all he fucking says, okay? That's it. I have never followed Andrew even when we were cool, and I never will follow Andrew. <laughs> oh, fuck. Never will. Sis, like, I, you know, like, I be trying so hard because I got gay friends, you know what I'm saying? I don't have nothing against gay people, but I be trying not to call him a sissy, you feel me? So I just stick to the word sis <laughs> because I don't want to offend nobody that's gay, you feel me? Because I do like gay people, like, they are bombs.com, but he is just over the top. I mean, over the top. No woman wants to be with a man that does his that pops his fucking lips like bubble gum. Like, who wants to be with a man like that? Stop playing with me. And dude, yo, your new place is not even in your name. Why? Because now that now that it's already out, why? Because you fucking have warrants. And you know they would come scoop your motherfucking ass up from your place. You out here doing fraud just like everybody else. Okay? Like, didn't Peter just get locked up for writing bad checks and shit? Like, y'all, I don't look. That's one thing I'm not about to play with is no bank accounts, no checks, none of that shit. You feel me? Like, that shit's no joke. Like, it's no joke. People do not, like, they are not coming home from that shit. You are not getting no motherfucking bond off that shit. Is this an exit? Because I did not mean to get off on exit 20. Um, let's see. No, I'm going this way. Um, I just don't get it. And he claimed, like, he claimed he's so rich. Y'all feel me? Like, he claimed he's so rich. So rich but you out here writing bad checks for a closed account and motherfucker want to say this nigga want to say that he was uh he forgot he closed the account but his story changed so many goddamn times oh my lord um did it really just start raining out of nowhere um his story changed so many times like 
how you go from you forgot your account was closed and you wrote one check to um what did he say um he forgot it was closed and then he said oh and then he said that he wrote the check um but a lady somebody something about a lady it was another lady's bank account he paid the lady or some shit some shit like that like dude did you write the check or not we know you wrote the check you wrote multiple checks more than one actually to be exact but you knew that bank account was closed that you had boo because you overdrafted and so it closed and then you tried to write a check for it thinking thinking okay like it's not gonna bounce for a minute because it's a closed account so it's probably just gonna go through for a minute and take a minute to come back no bitch that shit call back up with your stupid ass you ain't that smart, clown. Okay, yeah, that's it. See, now all of a sudden, the highway just, like, dispersed. Y'all, uh... Nah, he don't want to go to jail. Oh, my God, man. He was freaking... My, man, we was talking about that at my house. Like, if Andrew went to jail, child, oh, my God. He would probably die. Like, he would die. I'm telling y'all, he would die. And then he gonna say, this fool gonna say, I go to court when I want to go to court, not when the court tells me to go to court. <laughs> what? Like, who made you God? <laughs> Boo, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. So me and Bryce was talking about the situation and everything. And, you know, he, of course, he don't deal with Andrew no more. Like, he, don't, he didn't even know Andrew was in the city or whatever. Because I told him I was about to go go pop up at his hotel room and shit um but Andrew wasn't even there so I was like fuck he wasn't even there but yeah Bryce was just like and we was talking about you know him insinuating that I took Bryce from him and everything that's you know I mean basically saying I took Bryce from him that's insinuating that Bryce is gay and shit like I mean <laughs> it, it's crazy like Andrew swear he is so holier than thou and he is so into church and oh god sends this and da 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 blessings 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 bitch you blocking all your motherfucking blessings but anyways i want to just come on here and just that because michelle bitch don't sit there and be a hypocrite don't contradict yourself because that's exactly what the fuck you did for one for two Andrew, sit the fuck down. I'm tired. I'm tired of even looking at your fucking lips pop. Like, I'm just over it. And for three, I wish my baby daddy's baby mamas <laughs> would stop giving him a hard time about seeing me and his child, period. Like, everybody should know what it is. It's all about Blaze when it comes to me. Like, I don't give a fuck about none of that other shit. Like, he, yeah, Bryce came over and he does not want to leave. Like, he's at work and he was like i'm coming back like i'm coming back no like this this is just you know what i'm saying blaze asleep when you get off work so there's no point in being there you feel me so it's just like you one step at a time baby one step at a time so um but everybody that dms me thank you for your support um thank you for like just, I mean, just all the good energy and good vibes and stuff. Yeah, I'm still going through it with Nene. Um, but the first step is Bryce, okay? And when Bryce can step up and be a man and tell his mama, look, this is what it is, then eventually she'll fall behind. You know what I'm saying? Because he is a grown-ass man. Maybe she won't. Maybe she will. You feel me? I'm, yeah, I'm, I don't think she will <laughs> because she is just that type of bitch. But... I don't really give a fuck because as long as my child has his daddy, I'm straight. You feel me? Um, but okay, you guys. I need to focus on this fucking road because traffic just keep, keeps going in and out. And it just started raining. 